Hey everyone, it's Inzco here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be remixing a TikTok song. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, I just keep putting it off for some reason. But I haven't just randomly picked a popular TikTok song. I've actually found like 20 popular TikTok songs and put them into a Will Decider website. I'm going to be clicking the wheel, whatever song it lands on, I have to remix that song. And who knows, if it sounds like a decent remix, then I might actually finish it and put it out on my YouTube channel. Three, two one let's do it please be a good song i want to remix this like i want to want to remix it that made no sense but just give me a good song please okay i i can't say that i've ever tried to remix an ariana grande song but i know that she has a good voice and i can't say that i've ever heard this song but i actually look forward to doing this so let's get everything that i need to get downloaded and i'll see you in nfl so i think i've got everything i figured out the chords and i figured out the intro notes i gotta be really careful with what i can and can't play in this video because i don't want it to get copyright striked but this is the original intro for the song And I've figured out those notes on the guitar. And I've also figured out the bass notes and the chords as well. The song is actually in D minor, which actually took me a second to figure out because whenever I looked it up, every website was saying it was in a different key. I think what I'm going to try and do is just try and put the drums be the same as the original and just kind of see where it goes from there. I'm probably going to be using a lot of splice as well. This is actually the first time that I've properly tried to remake a song. And I'm not even really trying to remake it. I'm just trying to remake this bit so that I can then turn it into a remix so this is what i've done for like the last hour it really has taken me quite a long time just to do this bit but i sampled the guitar in the beginning because that guitar goes throughout the song from what i know anyway what i'm gonna do after this section is actually start making it into a remix because that's the point of this video i'm remixing a tiktok song not remaking a tiktok song What I'm going to try and do now is add in like some little background stuff. And then when it changes to this chorus bit, I'm either going to make that into like a build section or maybe add some more drums or something, but also kind of make it a build section. I really don't know. I haven't planned anything out. When I started recording this video, I didn't even know I was remixing this song. So I'm kind of making it up as I go along. So at this point, I'm working on the build up. I've done some like little vocal chop attempts for the drop just to kind of give myself some ideas. But for the build up at the moment, it's just sounding like this. It's like very simple stuff. I even used a loop just because I like the sound of it. What I'm going to try to do is get some synth stuff going on, really like choppy chords and that. Also want to add some kicks on the build up, obviously uplifters and effects and stuff like that. I've just made this really basic serum preset that is literally just like plucky saw waves. That's literally all I needed it for. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an EQ on this mixer channel. I'm going to have it basically go like this and then open up more on the build up. I have a rough build up going on right now. This is what it sounds like. I think it sounds okay it just needs to be more full up but that's something i can work on later i'm gonna try and work a little bit more on the drop now this is what i did so far it's literally just cut up vocals so these are the vocal drops here and i'm trying to go through and put some drums in and then i got to do the chords and the bass and all of the little like atmospheric stuff genuinely really excited for this idea it's just trying to bring the idea to life that's the hard bit it's a little bit different to the future bass style that i normally do i mean it's still future bass but it's more like a choppy and kind of like distorted kind of version so it's going to take me a while to kind of get my head around it figure out how to mix it and stuff like that so i've done the sub i'm going to play you what i have so far i I still need to do the chords, which I have a feeling are going to be quite a mission. But this is what it's sounding like at the moment. The rough idea is there 
kinda. I, I know what I want to do. It's just, like I said earlier, it's like executing that idea. But I think what I'm going to do is because I've been working at this for so long, I might do a little bit more tonight. And if I do, I'll record it. But if not, I'll do it tomorrow or the day after. I have dedication for this, you know. I don't want to just put up like some half ass remix. You came here to watch a video of me remixing a TikTok song. Your expectations were that it's going to be good so I can't make it bad. So I may or may not have spent the last three days working on this remix completely off camera. I did say to myself I was going to record the whole thing and that was the idea, but the times where I spent the most amount of time on it was during the night. In fact, I was up until 4am last night working on it. But anyway, I'm here today to show you the progress on everything that I've done. Unfortunately, isn't really a lot. We actually have a proper solid drop right now. It's almost perfect. I just need to tweak it a little bit more, but I'm just going to play you the build up and the drop, and then I'm going to run through what I did. And once I've run through everything, you got to let me know if you want me to release it or not. And that is what I've been working on over the last couple of days. I know it's not perfect, but I tell you what, it was definitely a challenge. And that's the whole reason I wanted to make this video was to challenge myself. And yes, this is future based, but it's, it's a lot different to my other songs. So now that I'm going to run through it all, let's start with the build up. We don't really have too much happening. We have this guitar loop, which is going throughout the whole song. which is from the original. Then we have the piano chords that in the build up go choppy like this. And then we have the sub bass, which is doing the same thing. Then we have these claps. Then we have this snare loop that I found that I really like. And then finally, we have the saw chords that I think was the last clip I recorded. Which, to be honest, I still don't know whether I like or not. I think it sounds a little bit cheesy, but hey. That's the build-up anyway, other than the effects. Now for the drop, I'm not going to start off by showing you the vocal chops for once. I actually cut up the guitar, and as you can see, I put it very randomly. It's just like little subtle things. It's distorted, and as you can hear, some of them pan between your ears. It kind of acts like a percussion, in a sense. Now let's check out the vocal chops. I'm just going to play all of the vocal chops. We also have this bell here, but I'm going to mute that because that's not a vocal chop. This is what they all sound like together. I'm going to break it down a little bit more after, but here you go. So as you can hear, they're very choppy and honestly, it's it's pretty basic. I literally took the chorus of the song and just cut it. Like, I didn't even really mess around with the order of things. I just kind of cut it up. And as you can hear, there is like this pitched bit here. And then this section here, I added like a lower one. But the thing that makes it choppy is, as you can see up here, I have some automation. What that's doing is that's a reverb, but the reverb is only playing when you see these squares. So every single time it's down like that is when the reverb cuts off, which is where these vocal chops are ending. So it's kind of making it choppy. And that's just the whole vibe of the drop is choppy. But like I said before, we also have this bell. This is what the bell sounds like. It sounds really weird and some notes don't sound right, but even if it isn't 100% correct, it, it works. Then for the drums, they're fairly simple, I just have a lot of percussive loops. Then we have this sub bass, which for the first four notes, it's like really distorted. And 
And as you can hear, when the base comes in properly, it's not distorted anymore. And I also layered that sub with a respace, which I do all the time. If you aren't using respaces in your track, you really should be because they fill it up so much. Then we have chords. This was actually quite hard to pull off because I know that I wanted that kind of like distorted, almost kind of sharp sounding chords, but they also kind of needed to be like a little bit melodic in the sense that they're not just noise. So it's quite hard to figure out, but I got there in the end. And then finally, we have this just really weird sounding guitar. Obviously, you can tell it isn't a live guitar. It doesn't really matter as it's kind of just hidden in the background. But other than these effects here, that's the drop. Like I said, fairly simple, but I am really happy with it because it's different. And like I said at the beginning of this section, it's not 100% done. There's still things that I'm a bit like, oh, I need to tweak that a little bit. But with that being said, that's the end of the video. I don't know how long this video turned out to be, but I have spent an awfully long amount of time on this video. I normally record my videos like over a couple of hours, but I've actually spent like over three days on this technically. So obviously, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. It supports me and I really appreciate that. And also, if you haven't subscribed, I upload new music related content every single Monday at 7 p.m. BST. So if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. It's free. Also, for the whole of December, I'm going to be doing Christmassy related music music content. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to finish this remix and if I get enough people wanting me to finish it, then it'll be out this Friday. But yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Insco. Hopefully I'll see you next week for the next video and I hope you have a good rest of your week.